choke, no joke. Yeah. It's choke, no joke. Let's go. Choke, no joke. Chicken choke, no joke. Choke, no joke. Nigga choke, no joke. I know. I'm getting dropped from Arista. Let's move on to that. <laughs> it's so funny. I, before. <laughs> before Arista dropped me, right? There was a year that the, 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 the crowd wasn't into me. Like, no one on the street could give a fuck. But the building gave a fuck. And then, all of a sudden, the source shit drops. And the, I get, like, you know, <laughs> a little love, you know? And the, my name is just about to start getting out there. Because whether it was, like, what, whether people, whatever they thought, felt about Roundup or whatever the case may be, even though I felt the same way. I, <laughs> but it's like, whatever it was felt, it was like my name was getting out there gradually. And people were starting to get, they starting to see the face and the bullshit hair magazines, even though I love those bullshit hair magazines. Y'all hooked me up so many times. But like every month I'm in a new hair magazine. I'm, I'm going to the store like a kid, like, you know, looking for candy. Like, go through all the magazines trying to see my picture so I can go home with my parents. Like, yo, I'm in a magazine which really meant a lot to me. And all these people starting to be like, hey, are you lady? It's just starting. They, they kind of like got the May out. It's like, hey, you're lady. Hey, you're lady May. Yes, I am lady May. And it felt crazy because it was, it was flickers of it. And it was common. And it was like, the source shit is out. And I remember that shit came out in January. And I was in LA's face like the, on, like the, the sixth with him saying, I don't think this is gonna work. What are you fucking crazy? I got eight pages of fucking swords, nigga. What is you talking about? Let's move, let's drop a joint, let's do something. We're out of here, we're about to do it. No, because I want you to be my missy, and you're not my missy because you're coming in with too hardcore stuff. Too hardcore how? I got, my beats are hard. I'm not, what are you, what are you saying to me? He didn't get it. Are you fucking kidding me? All those joints that I'm talking about right now are going on this goddamn DVD. That's how hot they were. And it was nothing like Roundup. Not even close. Roundup I did for the company. I did, I was a team player with Roundup. This fucking R&B song that was originally Blue Cantrell's. And I throw a little eight bars on it. They're like, hey, woo, ding, 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 ding. Throw a 16 on there. I throw a 16 on there. Ding, 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 ding. Let's make this May song. Why in the world are we making May songs? Because we don't have enough money in Blue's budget to get this girl out here real quick right now. And we're going to, like, kind of knock out two birds with one stone, as they told me. <laughs> Which was actually a cute idea. The video came out cute. We're going to see clips of that. You know, everything came out. It was all cute. But that wasn't. Diod is flipping, like, this is, this is not what we worked for. You know how DK is like, this is not it. There's nobody in the company was back in DD. And D, me, it was like, it's a, that's a two-man army right there. That was it. That was it. And it felt like that for a long time, me and him against the world. Me and him against the world. And a part of me getting brainwashed, like, I'm not doing this without D. So understand the little, the, the little things that are going on in the brain at the time, man, that to make you make every choice that you make is important and, and it, it, it validates everything to come. So if you don't make the right choices now, whatever choices you make is what's going to be your destiny. So you gotta concentrate and try to make the right choice. And I made so many wrong choices that you're faced with a certain destiny. Is it all doomsday? No, because when there's a will, there's a way. So, but it almost feels like going back to that moment. I feel right now like the moment when I first left my house when I was 15 years old, not knowing what's going to happen and just taking that chance like blind, going head first. I'm in. I don't care because I believe. And it's like, I'm flying, and I know I can't fly off a building without cracking the floor, but for some reason, I got some invisible wings on me right now. And nobody else can see it, but I feel it. 
So it's what makes you fly. It's what makes you say, okay, this is all fucked up. I'm dropped from Asta. That's the start of my new year, 2000 motherfucking three. Fuck you. <laughs> that shit was fucking incredible. It was mind blowing. Cause I'm getting all this crazy response from the streets. Oh my God, we just saw the source. You look crazy. Oh my God, it's on a pop and make. Niggas is calling for movies. Niggas, is... it's on and I can't drop a motherfucking record to back it up because I got dropped out of nowhere. Oh, you get the finger right now. If a tear fucking falls down my face right now, I'm gonna smack my own self. You get the fucking finger for that. That was, that was mind blowing. That fucks with your ego. <laughs> it fucks you up. And being able to go back to those same people, my parents, you think my parents didn't hit me along the way? Man, maybe you should go back to school. Maybe you should, find, maybe, there's always a maybe, there's always a maybe. But you wanna go back to your parents like, yo, check this out. But you know what the illest battle for me was, and nothing to this day has topped it, is me proving to my parents that leaving when I was 15 was not a mistake. Because they now believe in me as, as an artist. And I, you mind, I, mind you, I said artist instead of rapper, because there's a difference. You can rap all day, rap cat, cat, cat rhymes with hat and bat. You're a rapper. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Are you an artist? I'm an artist now. I wasn't five years ago. I wasn't when I left at 15. But that's where I'm not a failure. That's what makes me wake up in the morning and say, hey, <laughs> I know I could do it. Because I believe in myself. Because that's a lot of fucking blows to the brain for you to fucking, you know, sometimes you get, you, you get knocked out, man. But they were all TKOs. They weren't full knockouts. They were just technical knockouts. None of them was KOs. So, basically, you know, this, this, this whole, the whole thing that I went through with D, after the fact, it was, was hard, you know, because I'm going to decide whether I want this in here or not later. But D was like, you know, when you have somebody in your corner like that for so long, after a while, you're like, you're, I'm such a loyal person. Like, you had to cut off my arm to fucking not ride for crazy cat. You know what I mean? And something contractual happened, which was my contract is over. So making a choice, here's another choice. Has a situation outgrew its limitations? Has, has a situation just outgrew itself? Has, has, is this situation just, is this as far as it's gonna go? Did I learn all I can learn from this situation that I am determined to be loyal to? But maybe instead of just, the one person I've never been loyal to is myself. Because I haven't, I didn't give enough loyalty to myself to know that I can do it you can't do everything alone, but you can make the right choices. I can do it without feeling like I have a crutch. You can have people around you that assist you, but you're your own entity. You, you don't belong to anyone. You belong to your art, your craft. You belong to those things. Not to anyone saying, I, I created you, or I helped create you, or... It's like, nah, no one creates you. Your, your experiences create, create you. It's what makes you who you are. It's what makes me so incredible right now. Because my experiences were, God did not choose the, the easy route for me. This is not a fall in your lap situation. God said, hey, for some reason, babe, you're going you're gonna to have to take the extra long route. <laughs> the extra long road. The extra long route. Now I'm saying, why, why am I so lucky to get that? Because I guess, you know, I always asked God, for one thing, and that was um, not to be the star. I just want to be a star. I just want to have a lot of money. I just want to have. I just want to be fabulous. I always wanted to be destined for greatness. And when someone says they want to be destined for greatness, that means they have to go through a lot of great things to 
finally achieved that greatness. And I don't take, I don't, I don't regret none of it. Not, not one day that was bad, not all the nights crying, not, you know the sob story, you know? It's everyone's, it wasn't easy for me, you know? Well, it wasn't easy for me either. <laughs> so, the thing that discourages me the most is the stipulations that go on in this game for people to, you should dress like this, you should, I mean, I don't, as much as I, and I've become so fond of her, Fox, and I have become very cool, and this is someone that as my, through my adventures, I was told to be like, you know what I mean? And it's not for me to be like Foxy, it's not for me to be like Missy, it's not, it's for me to t admire these women and say, hey, they inspire me to be myself. But it's never that way. People come in the game and they say, hey, they can only, the a and come in these red company people with these fucking suits on that you think they have, they have glasses on, they got glasses on, does not mean they're smart. Because these motherfuckers are fucking, have fucking dunce caps on. True. And they're like, you know, hey, they can only go by, you need to be like this because that's what's on the radio. You need to be like this because that's what they see in a video. They can't, they're not visionaries. These are people who can only settle for what they see. And they can only, that, that's why it's like, you know, seeing is believing. No one can believe I rap until they see I rap. That's why I'm like, the TV, the TV makes you so, such a big star. But it's like, that's not what makes you a star. You gotta be a star from the fucking get-go. <laughs> a star is how you live your life, not how you fucking do your crap. And people mistake that shit all the time. What are you doing this for? And if it's for a quick dollar, cool. Be in and get the fuck out, because that's what it's going to be. But if you're here to do it, then ain't nothing could break you, because you're making you, so I'm the only one who could break me. I make me, so I break me. Not you, not anybody else. And it's all fucked up. It's all, the game is all fucked up. I'm fucking thinking to myself, just, I couldn't even have this conversation like about four months ago, talking about, you know, I'm going to do it on my own. I'm going to do it on my own. I was still like, I'm looking for my big break too, just like you, you know? I want my big break. So I'm gonna get down with the hottest click I could fucking find. The hottest motherfucker. Get out, reach out, reach out, do what I got to. Uh-uh, it don't work like that. And I'm gonna wait around? And I was waiting around. Six months again, I'm waiting around for this big break. You gotta make your big break happen. And that's why I guess we're here right now. So the foolishness that goes on as far as the women, the comparisons, the fucking, I mean, I don't even know why, I, I can't even tell you why none of the female rappers get along. And I've spoken to quite a few. So don't fuck with so-and-so and I don't fuck with so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so don't fuck with so-and-so because she don't fuck with so-and-so, so fuck all y'all. <laughs> that's funny. And I'm like the newcomer in the game, like, who this bitch? But like, how can you be, you, none of them got no problems with me. Not till it's not right at this day. I could say there was once a little few bickers here and there. But I'm, there's no way not to like me because I'm gonna kill you with kindness. I'm a kind person. I'm kind. <laughs> I'm a really kind, gentle person, you know what I mean? And I speak nothing but truth to you. If you have a problem with me, we're gonna address it. We're not gonna do this he say, she say fucking business, pol political, hip-hop, rap game bullshit. We're gonna get down to the minute and find out what the fuck is going on. And let's, let's work this out. Can we get some money together? Can we do this together? Make a mark? Can we do something special? And if not, then hey. But none of them ain't got no problem with me right now. <laughs> not right to suck at, at this point. At this point. So did you re-sign with um, Crazy Cat? No. That's what, that's what I was saying. Nah, it was, it was a choice. I don't know if I did. I didn't answer that. That's you's good, Chucky. Nah, I didn't. I didn't do that. Um, I think it's because I wanted to just. I wanted to see what my other options were. I, I wanted to see if you know. I think five, six years being with somebody. You know, and in and in a very you know, close knit situation, it's like. You kind of want to venture out and see if you can and spread your wings, as you may call it and see if there's something else that you could learn and something else you can, can face and, and kind of like, you know, challenge. You know, I never thought that I would get another deal without 
die. There's times that I felt that way because that's almost how you, you get made to think. Someone handles everything for you every day. You get kind of attached and you get lazy and you get comfortable to always wanting that person handles stuff. But when they're not around, you can't get lazy. It's like, it's easy to get lazy. It's easy to wake up in the morning. And I, I always say that I'm the brokest, richest bitch in life. <laughs> it's not even right where I live. It's not, it's, it's mind blowing. <laughs> it's mind blowing. Like I'm fucking, I can count how much fucking pennies I got in my pocket. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's not from, that's because the little advances they give you ain't really nothing. You know, I didn't ever get a chance to, 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 to drop an album, so I got X amount of dollars in the thousands owed to me over on the, another end with BMG Publishing. But I can't even get that money, so it's like, wow, what? I am broke. If I can't get to my money, I am broke. Why can't you get to the money? Because I didn't drop an album. But as soon as I drop an album, I got a nice little piece of change. Politics of the game. Politics of the game. Well, explain, explain to the people that don't know what you're talking about. Hmm? Well, basically, if you, you, you get a publishing deal. I got a publishing deal while I was signing Arista Records. Because when Arista dropped me, that takes away my opportunity of dropping an album until I find a new deal that's going to drop this album. Once that album, I get re-signed, and get a chance to drop that album, which I have about 10 albums right now because it's about 200 songs. That's when I'll get my back end for my publishing. I got my front end, I just didn't get my, my back end. Which is all coming, it's all good, but that's, that, that should be easy enough to understand. If I understand it, you sure as hell can understand it. I understood what I said. I was talking to the people. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, at the end of the day, you know, the, what I don't like is, uh, is the venture to come, I'm not sure of necessarily. It's something, it sounds very promising, what's lingering in the air right now. And, uh, you know, man, I'm telling you, I'm really, I'm stumped as far as to say what could happen tomorrow. You know what I mean? Because it's all new right now. It's not. Ain't nothing the same except for Vino. <laughs> Vino's the same. So how's your relationship with that? Like it's that great. Time? I mean, we still talk everything. Well, I'll always talk to that. You know what I mean? That is always going to be there in my eyes. You know what I mean? I'm always going to look out for that. Once everything takes place and everything goes down, he's going to be taken care of. That's why it's, it's always been known. You know what I mean? I'll always take care of that. But this is about May. The foolishness. <laughs> the foolishness that goes on in this shit. And the women. And, the, and, and it's, just, it's just about the struggle. That's all. And it's, it's about not stopping. It's about, it's about you got to go get it. Because I know a lot of women right now that I talk to that are chilling because they don't know what's the first move. What's the first move to make to get out of this pigeonhole situation? I mean, I was pigeonhole when I did Roundup. Niggas thought I was a pop rapper. A pop rapper. That's what LA wanted me to be. Wanted me, Missy to me is a pop rapper. She's a popular rapper. And that's what, and, and, and it's so crazy, you know, how people think. Cho, no, Cho. Yeah. It's choke no joke, let's go. Choke no joke, chicken choke no joke. Choke no joke, niggas choke no joke. I know this industry chick with tough love. Yeah. When I got exclusives, I hit to all.